All right, so this is uh, battle number four for the uh, Grail Quest uh, 2014. And I'm fighting against Skaven once again. It's like fate is forcing me to play them. And it's like you will learn to defeat them. Um, which is mainly more of defeating myself since most of my games so far I've defeated myself. But um, it was a fun game. I love the uh, I like the opponent. He was cool. Um, here's my center. Um, here's my uh, deployment. I have a unit of uh, gore next to the herdstone. Uh, about 50 of them. Next to that is the best of gore again. Um, and over behind the mountain, I put my Manticore over there because I didn't want him to get shot because he has two units of Giselles. I haven't seen Giselles since 2007, so I don't really want to mess with them because I remember them uh, hurting people really bad. Um, right there next to the um, Manticore's uh, unit of Harpies. Over in the building, that red building over there across the way, is a, uh, it, that's where he put his Giselles. So um, it's going to be difficult to get to them. They have really good range and pretty good blister skill. He has two uh, slave units right next to each other and two rat buses uh, over to the left. Um, his monster, I believe, was a um, bull taurus, if I'm not mistaken. But here's my here's my first turn. I moved the I actually got first turn, so I moved my um, my best to gore forward. And uh, I had to move the Ungor up in such a way where they can get out because right then and there, they were kind of stuck in between the Herdstone or whatever and the, the Gore, so they had to move. Um, and uh, he pretty much didn't move. He actually backed his guys up a little bit in his turn. I mean, I did. I think I got. Um, I did get uh, minus one to their shooting in my magic phase. I got a uh, Curse of On Here off on those. Um, or it might have been minus one to ballistic skill. No, no, it was Curse of On here off on the uh, Giselles over to the left. And I got minus one ballistic skill to the Giselles on the right, I believe. He acts, in his turn, he pushes his um, clan rats up forward. It's a lot of clan rats. I mean, a lot of them. I think there was like 50 of them. He had more clan rats than he did have slaves, so that was pretty, uh, that was pretty scary. And if you notice to the right, he has a Doom Wheel. Um, the Doom Wheel, I wasn't really scared of it because I have strength six great weapons and I have about 40 of them so yeah I should be able to take that out I mean average law of averages alone should do that um, as you can see he moves around the back end of the ungore which is kind of scary um, but I do have the ungore I, I, I plan on charging the ungore into that, that slave unit and that's what I want to do uh, he throws his rat bus up but I think he threw his rat bus up thinking that he'd be able to stop my charge and he didn't realize that I could wheel past them with the uh, the best of gore. Um, and so he he pivots. He puts his bottles up on the on these uh, giant dice, and I was I was afraid that he might drop his uh, actual models. Um, I actually casted uh, that spell on that same unit again. My whole thing was trying to stop them from shooting the mess out of me, because I don't like scaven shooting. It's dangerous, especially when they're shooting into units, which is not fair it's not fair but my plan is to get the slate the the young gore involved in the middle and i can move my my gore up into the middle as well i'm going to try to play it kind of aggressive and kind of close to the chest on this one um over here his this is the second time that his lord actually fails um it might be the third time i think it might be the third time his lord fails the uh the uh, he he brought the uh that knife, the blade, the fail blade, and I think the fail blade actually uh, wounded his lord twice. So I'm happy. I'm like, oh, next time we'll actually have a lord. His general is going to be dead. And that, no, he brought a dragon ogre. Now, I thought it was a dragon ogre shag at the first, so I was kind of wary about charging it. And then he was like, no, it's just a regular dragon ogre. And I'm like, okay, regular dragon ogre, tough strength, uh, toughness four, four wounds. I think the best of gore can handle this. So I charge him into the, I charge him in, and the way I charge him in, I wanted to hit the doom wheel on the overrun. I move my harpies up so he would not be able to um, hit me on the flank or in the front. They're kind of in the way, um, and that's exactly what happens. Uh, the best of gore, hit, kill, overrun, ran into the doom wheel, 
everything's working perfectly. The Ungor got in a close combat, and my unit, the, my big unit in the middle, they're coming up, they're coming through, and then that Doom Will goes crazy in my in in his turn. Oh my gosh, it goes crazy. He runs his slaves in there to the on my flank too, so my best to go are now. <laughs> they and then then they went to try to wound this Doom Bull, I mean Doom Doom Will, and they couldn't wound him the entire game. They could not score a four to wound. It was amazing. I mean, I even added plus one strength to them. They still couldn't do anything. And over here, my slaves, my Ungor actually hold pretty well, but they eventually lose the fight and I get hit on the flank by the um, by his slave unit on my Gore. So I'm like, I'm sitting there like, oh gosh, he's got more ranks than me. He's got a charge. Oh man, I might, you, I'm, this might be another one of those games. It might be another one of those games. And the funny thing is that that best of gore unit actually held, even though they were just getting the mess pounded out by that doom wheel. And you see the unit just de getting depleted over time. This is like the third, third or fourth round of, of play, and they're just getting depleted. They can't. They, I couldn't roll a four to wound. I mean, and by this time, he really didn't have anything to shoot at. I was still hiding my Manticore back there, but you know what? The, the gore held. They actually held. And then this is where this. Then he came around. And he shot me um, some more. But in my turn, I actually did get a couple of spells off. I got um, Enfeebling Foe, which dropped his strength down by two. And then I had gotten um, one that dropped his weapon skill by one. So I was the, the best, the Gore were in, in good company here. They were, I was enjoying them. And then they got plus one strength, plus one toughness as well. Man, I was going off. I was nowhere near the Herdstone at this point. I got three spells to go off in one turn. I mean, because. His, um, he had already used his Dispel Scroll, so there you go. I mean, and then here, his general dies. He rolls for the fail blade, and his general dies in his turn. So that was huge. <clears throat> and um, in the close combat here, uh, this is what happened. I, win I didn't win close combat, but I didn't lose. And um, I, um, I turned and faced him. I, I didn't win, but I didn't break, so I turned and faced him. And... Uh, that was what's happening there. And here's the, the best of gore that can't wound a doom bull um, still there. They're still holding on. The only thing that's making them hold on, that's helping to hold on, is the general's making combat resolution with his close combat attacks against the uh, the rats. And then um, after I break that unit, the, the gore ended up breaking that unit in his turn. And then I turn and then I charge his main unit with his general who just died from the fail blade. And that was huge. Um, and here's another view of the, of the um, I, I thought for sure they'd be able to take that doom wheel and they just couldn't do it. I mean, my general fought the good fight and he just couldn't, he couldn't keep holding on. He, um, he scored a wound on my general finally. I only have one more best of gore left. Um, so um, yeah, that didn't go off too, uh, too well. And in my turn, I actually got another enfeebling foe off on his general's unit. And then I break his general's unit, and then I turn to face his last remaining unit. Um, and then he starts to shoot at the Manticore because I was stupid enough to take the Manticore out from behind the mountain. So he, he put some wounds on the Manticore by shooting him. You know, cowardly Skaven. And then he shoots from the other side to finish the Manticore off. <clears throat> the Doom Wheels facing my main unit and then his other unit over there. Um, they're pretty much out of the fight. They're not going to be able to. This is this is bottom of turn six, and I charge um, his main unit, and um, I get enfeebling foe off. I get a couple of other augment spells off, and then I get to transform into a mountain chimera. I mean, not a mountain chimera. I wish it was, but it was a dragon, a great fire dragon. And um, in his in his in his birth throws, he kills off like ten. He kills off like eight gore, which drops the unit below half. So now he's going to get half points to my unit. I destroy his unit, and then I, my, my only chance is to overrun with the dragon alone, catch his BSB for the win. And I needed a I needed an eight, and I roll a seven inches, inches, yeah, inches, but. Um, I actually was close enough to actually get the win 
But because my unit got blown apart and the eight models dropped off, he was able to get half points, so it brought it to a tie. And then he killed my general, so he got extra bonus points on that. So it actually gave him a slight victory over me. <sighs> if I had Minotaurs, I would have won 90% of my games. And I wouldn't have been sweating bullets for uh, best beastman general. Uh, but you live and you learn, right? Next time there will be, uh, there's probably going to be Minotaurs and um, Skull Cannons. <laughs> that going to be awesome. But uh, if you like the uh, what you've seen, uh, comment uh, or subscribe.